Back to school season is here and for some families it's a struggle to afford increasing prices of school supplies. Back to school shopping next year, however, could be a little cheaper for families. Good evening. I'm David Andrews and I'm Amaya Kaznicki in for Ann Emmerich. State lawmakers are considering a tax holiday that would allow parents and students to purchase back to school items without paying a 6% sales tax. News 10's Sanaya Jordan tells us what the possibility of a sales tax holiday weekend could mean for parents and students. Amaya, it's a little too late for this back to school season, but Michigan's lawmakers are eyeing a decision that could provide pocket relief for a lot of families across the state next year. So you're shopping for three kids this year. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going in with an open mind. Um, if it's not in our budget, we won't get it. Parents like Venus Henderson Hughes could save a ton of money on school supplies if the back to school tax holiday is passed here in Michigan. During the third Saturday and Sunday of August, families will be able to buy all of their school supplies, clothing, and other items tax-free. The one key piece is making sure it is simple to apply and they have enough time to incorporate the changes, get their POS systems and staff ready. Senior Vice President of Government Affairs Amy Drum says this tax break could become a reality next year, marking a major move by the state to ease the financial burden on working families. We see uh, both from the retail standpoint and from the consumer standpoint, there is a hesitancy to spend money right now and giving people more dollars in their pocket to be able to buy the things that they need, keep their families supplied, keep food on the table is going to be critical to, to move the economy forward. Drum called the proposed back to school tax holiday a boost for families amid the rising cost of school supplies. Michigan would join more than a dozen other states that are already offering similar tax holidays. So if we look at Ohio's sales tax holiday, it actually generates more sales tax revenue for the state because people then spend the money they've saved in other places. My most concern is getting their needs, maybe some of their wants, but definitely their needs met. These bills have been referred to the House Committee on Tax Policy. Amaya? Thank you, Tania. 17 states will be offering tax-free school supplies during this year's back-to-school sales tax holiday.